Greetings fellow gear nerds, today we're going to be taking a look at the differences in between the new Ampero 2 Stomp and the original OG Ampero. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor. Recently I made a video on the Ampero 2 Stomp and a lot of you were asking me if it sounded different than the original Ampero and you know what the other differences were, so I just thought I would make this video for you guys that were asking, and honestly for myself too because... I don't really know if there's a difference. So we're gonna play through both of these, we're gonna dial in a patch on each one, and then at the end of the video, we'll shoot them out in a mix. We are starting over here with the OG Ampero. You can tell I've had this for a while because it's pretty beat up. I used to use it live all the time, and the way that I used it live was I ran it into a solid state power amp, which we're doing today. It's my Seymour Duncan Power Stage 700 that is down here in this rack, and then we were running that into a Mesa 4x12 cabinet mic'd up with an SM57 and an SE Electronics Voodoo ribbon microphone. Let's hear how it sounds. This is the last patch that I was using live. It's using a diesel VHS, which uh, is kind of weird. I think it's a diesel VH4, but let's change this. I want to use an Ingle Savage. There it is. Pretty awesome. Let's mess with this here a little bit. We're gonna go back. I'm gonna turn, I have a boost going on there. I'm gonna turn that off. So right now I just have the amp and the noise reduction. Uh, we're gonna go back in and edit the amplifier. Okay, so that is the Ingle Savage one. There are two different modes of Ingle Savage in here. One is a little bit more scooped. I like this one. I think it sounds a little bit fuller. Now, supposedly with the Ampero 2, there are some big changes, one of which being a new DSP processor and new, more refined amp modeling algorithms from the original Ampero. Now, in my first impressions video with the Ampero 2 Stomp, I did throw in a lot of effects to test that DSP. We're not gonna focus on that today. Mostly, we're just gonna focus on the differences in the amp modeling and the guitar tones and see if there is any. One of the things that they mentioned on their website that I'm really interested in checking out and diving a little bit deeper on is their combination of black and white box modeling. And to summarize what black and white box modeling means is with the Ampero, all the controls are very linear. They don't behave like a real amplifier would where they kind of work in conjunction with each other. For example, on a real amplifier, there's a relationship between all the controls and there are sweet spots that will sort of change the character of maybe your mids and your highs and stuff like that. Now, I don't know because I haven't really tested it, but supposedly with the Ampero 2 Stomp, they sort of changed that and blended the two together so that way you have controls that sort of interact with each other. So we are going to hook that guy up now and dial in a patch with the Ingle Savage and check it out. Okay, let's do that. Okay, we have the Ampero 2 Stomp loaded up here. We have the same Ingle Savage 1 amplifier selected. Let's hear how it sounds. Okay, I'm gonna start dialing it in and let's see if there's any difference in the way the controls behave with each other.
Okay, I don't know if I'm imagining this. Let me know in the comments if you guys hear this too, but it really does sound like when you're turning the master volume up that you're getting more like power tube saturation, especially in the low mids and the low end. Here, let me show you. which is very similar to how a real amp would behave, but let me know if I'm crazy. Let me know if you guys hear that in the comments as well, okay? Okay, so it does sound to me like there's some interaction in between the high and the mids there. It doesn't sound like just a linear EQ or something like that. So they definitely have changed their amp modeling in the Ampero 2. Uh, we also have this voice switch now, which we can switch in between rough and smooth. So here's rough. <laughs> Here's smooth. It's really hard to pinpoint what's going on there, but to me it sounds like the rough is more like raw amp tone, whereas the smooth sounds more like what you would hear EQ'd in the studio on a record or something like that. Let's stick with the rough for now. And then we also have a depth boost. Let's turn that guy on. Oh my God, that just adds so much. This is with the depth boost on. You might as well call it the death boost. It sounds really, really good, and I'm really glad that they added that depth boost. It was a much needed feature, in my opinion. I don't know how well it's translating over YouTube, but to me, it sounds exactly like cranking up the depth or resonance knob on an amplifier, and you just get that really mean low end that I really enjoy. <laughs> Okay, now let's turn our drive pedal on and I'm using a green drive here. Let's switch it back to the scream mood just to be consistent and let's see how much of an effect that has on the track. <laughs> Okay, so pretty much we're getting the same effect there that we did with the original Ampero, but that is just my subjective opinion, sitting in the room and playing through both of them with an actual cabinet. Let's shoot them out in a mix and see if there are any major differences in between the same amp models. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm gonna shoot them out with both the same IRs as well as the internal cab modeling because they really changed the internal cab modeling on both of these. If you didn't see that, I covered that in my original Ampero 2 video, but we're gonna do both in the shootout. So let's transition to that shootout.
All right, guys, what do you think? Do you think the Ampero 2 is a major improvement over the original OG Ampero? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you really like this video, there are all sorts of ways that you can help support the channel down in the description below. So go check those out and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.